Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News. I'm Brittany, and this is my co-host, Caitlin. Thanks for joining us today. Some of Mr. M's students had their works on display at an art competition not too long ago. The students' work looked great and also won quite a few awards. Here's more. Hello, Friendship Middle School. This is Mr. Management along with... Randall. And? Frick. Frickie. Okay, and they have some questions about the art competition, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, tell us about the art competition and how did it go? Um, it was an extremely difficult competition. Um, if you're not there, you don't understand how it works. They had 1,100 pieces of art and they have three judges and they chose the top basically 300 kind of, but the first round they only chose 50 gold keys, 80 silver keys, and like 150 honorable mentions. So it's really difficult because it's seventh grade through 12th grade. How many students were involved from FMS in this? Uh, we had 30 pieces of art. We had different, we had paper mache, we had some sculpting, some carvings. We had wood burnings, we had drawings, and we had paintings and a digital design. What types of prizes were there? We had uh, overall eight out of our students, fin out of our 30 pieces, won either a gold, a silver, or an honorable mention. Did the students compete any farther in the competition? Yes, the students that got gold and silver, they will move on to the nationals in New York City. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hi. I'm Frick here with... Stephanie. What was the best thing about the competition? Just getting to see all the different artworks. Tell us a little bit about your project. Um, I did an owl wood carving thingy, and it took like a while. And it had drawing and wood burning both. Thank you. Good work, Tigers. And while we're talking about good work, a couple of FMS Tigers worked really hard raising animals and wound up winning big at the Lubbock Stock Show. Check it out. Hi, I'm Grace here with... Cooper. How did you do at the Lubbock Stock Show? I won Grand Champion Pig. How many people were in the contest? About 700 pigs. What do you do when you show pigs? Uh, pretty much just walk right by the judge so you'll see. What's the best thing about showing pigs? Uh, you get to have a very fun time and you get to leave school early. Congratulations and thank you! Hi, I'm Grace here with... Landon. How did you do at the Lubbock Stock Show? I won the sheep show. How many people were in the contest? About 75. What does the judge look for when judging sheep? Um, basically hide and how they are set up. What was the best thing about showing your sheep? The money. <laughs> Congratulations and thank you. Congratulations, guys. Good luck at your next stock show. Mr. M would like to let everyone know that the After School Chess Club will meet tomorrow after school. His room number is 113, and the meeting will last from 310 to 410. Be sure to make plans and join the chess club. They go to all sorts of tournaments throughout the year and have a really fun time. And also remember to bring some extra chains for Popcorn Wednesday tomorrow. The PTA ladies will have the usual treats for us to buy. Don't miss it. That's all the announcements for today. Let's check in with Brittany and find out what's going on in weather. Hey guys, I'm Brittany here with your weather. Your current conditions is 31 degrees Fahrenheit, partly cloudy, winds 12 miles per hour, no rain. Here's a look at your regional forecast. It's dry in our area, but in the south there's some snow. Here's a look at your five day forecast. It's a little cool, but it gets warmer through Thursday. I'm Brittany with the weather, back to you. Thanks Brittany. Now let's check in with sports. Hello FMS sports fans, I'm Joby and this is Riley and here's a look at today's sports. Yesterday afternoon, both the boys and girls basketball teams played Irons Junior High. Let's find out how they did. Hi, I'm Tavian here with... Bryson. Davis. How'd you do in last night's games? I tried. I didn't do very good. What do you hope to improve on before the next games? Not fouling. Uh, shooting the ball a lot better. Thank you. This is Coach Sanchez here once again. <laughs> I'm going to start charging for these interviews, just FYI, Mr. Fulbright, with... Addy. And you have some interesting questions for me? Yes. How did the guys do against Irons? 
Uh, we did pretty good. You know, we won two out of four games, seventh grade A team won and the eighth grade B team won. What improvements do you want to see from our teams? The improvements that we're seeing lately and that we want to see is, you know, just good hustle. You know, we're getting back on defense. We're playing pretty hard. You know, we can't, we can't tell them to not be more aggressive than they already are. They're playing pretty good. And when are the next games and who do they play? Uh, next Monday are the next games and we're playing at McKenzie at 5 and 6. Thank you. No problem. Up in yes. Members of the FMS tennis team are itching to get back into action and they'll get that opportunity very soon. The first match of the spring season will take place Thursday, February 6th when the varsity team plays Evans. The matches will be played at Friendship High School and they'll start at 4.30. Good luck, guys. That's a look at today's sports. Back to you. Well, that's all we have today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everyone have a great afternoon.